Hi, Tim Brown here, back with another one of our weekly drum lessons. It's my intention to put up a drum lesson every week for the foreseeable future upon YouTube. So keep an eye on this channel, have a look on Facebook, contact me on Facebook, or contact me via email, which is timdrums at btinternet.com for more information on the lessons. Right, let's get to it. So, in this lesson, we're going to take on the sticking concept that we've been looking at in previous lessons and just try and move it on and create some grooves with it. So the pattern we've been working on is right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. What we're going to do to start with is just place that pattern between the snare drum and the hi-hat cymbals and just try and hear if there's a backbeat that turns up in the pattern or an obvious place for a backbeat. So here we go. Okay, so to me, putting the accent on beat three of the bar, I'm thinking of this in 16th notes, will mean that the right hand comes across to the snare drum for the backbeat. Have a listen, see if you can hear how this works out. So it's the second repeat of the pattern the first right hand lands on the snare drum. So if I place the bass drum on the first beat of each bar, we start to get a bit of a groove. Okay, now with this pattern, there's various little things that we can do to experiment with it. We can start to accent other notes within the cycle. The last left hand, for instance, is a really good one to accent. We could move the left hand over to the hi-hat cymbals to give us a different sound. Or we could step the hi-hat on certain notes. So let's just try a few bits and pieces and we'll see what comes out. Okay, pretty cool. I like that idea. Next thing I want to try and do then is to place the snare drum on beats two and four rather than on beat three. So less of a half time feel this time. Now this causes us a little bit of a problem technically because the accented note is going to fall on the first of a set of double strokes in the left hand. So we have to play a loud accented note followed by a quiet note, by a ghost note. I play the accented note as a rim shot and then a very quiet tap stroke for a ghost note. It takes a bit of practice, but after a while we can get it to sound like this. I place the bass drum in that phrase. Really, the easiest thing to do with the bass drum to start with is just to follow the right hand. And we get this pattern. step the hi-hat in that, that phrase, we get some nice little syncopations going on between the right hand accents and this new left foot stepped note. My favourite is to play the offbeat eighth note. So we get
Have fun with that. Practice that one up. And I'll see you next week.